it's a draft. Yeah. Hey besties, welcome back to my vlog. So today we're going to go and get a wax at Henna Place and like I'm in my Uber trying to get there. I hope you guys can hear me because the Uber is noisy. Why am I talking about my mask on? Anyways, so we're going to Henna Place to go and get a wax done. So I'm excited to go and see. Oh my god, I forgot to buy painkillers. Oh, they said somebody told me I'm supposed to take like painkillers 30 minutes before so that I don't feel that much pain. But I'm feeling like I shouldn't take the painkillers so I can get a real experience on what it's like. So <laughs> I'm excited and I'm also scared. So let's go. Okay. head and then this is I guess where I'll lie down and this is my bag and my mask besties I wish you can feel my chest I am my heart is beating like so fast I'm so nervous and so scared like <laughs> apart from the fact that I have to like get naked I heard there's some positions you have to be in and now plus the pain Hucha. Lord have mercy you guys wish me well Okay, wish me luck.
Guys, this is pure pain. I don't know who told me to to pay for this. Like, yeah, continue, please. She's applying it now. You see me scream very soon. Uh oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I know I said in 2022 I want to do a lot of beauty treatments and like procedures, professional procedures, not like surgery or anything. But this is the worst pain I have felt right after my period cramps. This, this, I really don't know if I'm going back to do this again. I don't know because I literally just died and I woke up like, no. <laughs> Say hi to my YouTube channel. Tell us about, tell us your name. My name is Hawa. And she was my waxer. She's really nice. So if you come to Henna Place, Lucky Face One, ask of Hawa. She'll take care of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> um, I just finished right now. I've calmed down. Um, we're going to go home and I'm going to give you guys the tea on this whole experience because we need to sit down and talk about it. You girls that have been getting Brazilian waxes, like, you are the boss. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on my channel, you're welcome, welcome, welcome. Please join us and become a bestie by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a huge thumbs up. But if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, 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 I love you and you know the vibes. Get in the back. If you made it to this part of the video, I'm sure you enjoyed the vlogging of the whole event and I'm sure you have like your thoughts and some questions you have to ask. So I was like, why don't I sit down with the besties and just give them a couple of pointers and just find out like all the stuff I have realized and experienced after a week of getting waxed. So um, today is the day 10 or 11 of getting waxed. So this is way after that vlog you just saw. So I have some things I have noticed and I want to share it with you guys. I don't know who it may help or if you have any advice for me because we are all girls here I think. So <laughs> I love it when we help each other and just drop comments in the comment section because 
me as a viewer as well sometimes when i have questions and i ask youtube and i get content for the questions i have i love to go through the comments and see what people are saying because that's the fastest way to learn from people's experience so learn from my own experience so i've written out all my tips and tricks in this pretty little pink book so in case you see me looking down i'm reading like everything i have experienced i wrote it down because i didn't want to forget anything okay because it's <laughs> because it was an unforgettable experience let me tell you something first brace yourself brace yourself for the pain because the pain my sister asked me when I got back home from the appointment, she was like, what was the pain level on the scale from 1 to 10? I said 12. And I'm going to say 12 because I've never experienced pain like that in my life. Like, is that what we go through for, like, that place to be beautiful or something? Because, speechless. So the first thing I'm going to say is do take some painkillers 30 minutes before. Um, for me, if you saw in the first part of the vlog, I said I forgot to get painkillers. Yeah, that's true. Um, I actually did forget. But I purposely kind of didn't bother trying to get some because I could get some on the way there. I wanted to get the real experience on what waxing is really like for you guys. So I went through all this pain for you guys. So that's why I'm supposed to give this video a like, share it, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Okay. okay. Um, after I got waxed, the lady told me not to apply any lotion, soaps, creams, or anything like that. She did apply some substance for the pain, so um, that really helped cool that area down. But she said we shouldn't apply any soap, cream, or anything. So when you're even washing yourself down there, just use plain warm water, and that worked for me. Um, I'm currently almost two weeks post wax, and I do not have any ingrown hairs. Baby, I do not have any ingrown hairs. No bumps. I'm even, I, I'm speechless because the few times I've tried to shave down there, I come up with mad bumps. So I always use like the um, hair removal creams. That doesn't give me bumps, but I've never had that place that hairless without bumps. So you want to be extra gentle when scrubbing down there because she's very tender and sensitive because she has been snatched, okay? that so you want to be sensitive and careful with that something that also helped me was the application of olive oil i got this um really small bottle of olive oil extra virgin olive oil and it has helped me so much from the day i got waxed till now i still apply the olive oil down there um this is not a step i just want to give you a warning prepare yourself the labia is the most painful part if you don't know what the labia is on your girl you shouldn't be here. Go to Google. Google what a labia is and come back and watch this video, okay? A labia is like bare. So that's the most sensitive part of the whole process and procedure. And oh boy. Just get ready. Okay? Get ready. So what I also advise for you to do on the day of getting waxed, do not wear any tight clothes. No jeans, no leggings. Just wear a free kaftan or like a boo-boo. Like if you... Like you saw me in the beginning of the video, I was wearing like a short kaftan because after you get it waxed, that place is like, whoo, hot. So you need something that you can easily open your legs to air, can enter inside. So wear that and also put on cotton panties if you can. If you can't, don't wear anything. If you're driving there, don't wear anything. And if it helps you, you can also put like ice on there so it just cools the whole place down or just open your leg in front of the AC. So that air can blow the baby girl. <laughs> Fact so I'm not joking. This is facts only. So how long does it take for your hair to grow back? I know that's a question everybody wants to know. So for me, this is 11 days post procedure and I have no hair growth. Let me check. Just to be sure. Okay. I'm just now getting little, little of hair like little little hairs are coming out so I know you guys are asking me am I going to get a wax again hmm. I don't know <laughs> I really don't know because thinking about the pain oh that love ya oh no I just might I just might get it again but somebody was telling me that if I do want to get it again I shouldn't let it grow past four weeks so the pain isn't that much because the longer the hair or the fuller the hair the more painful it is apart from the pain i am enjoying my results 
I probably will go for laser when I have so much money, when I'm rich. Those are all my tips and tricks. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and also this little Q&A session of the video. I thought it was going to be helpful to you guys because I didn't speak much in the vlog because I was in so much pain. But now I feel better. Drop me a comment if you have any questions on waxing or if you're, you've been waxed before. If you have any tips for me, leave everything in the comments. And if you're thinking of getting waxed and you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And who knows, other viewers can also give you some tips. So without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.